Coach, Iowa at Nebraska. Nebraska needs to win the game to be bowl eligible and win six games. This would be Iowa's ninth win with a chance to win 10 if they go to a bowl game. Scott Frost had explosive offenses when he was offensive coordinator in Oregon for Chip Kelly, and he had his own team, Central Florida, and it was very explosive. But they've had some trouble yeah. being explosive this year with the, some of the same concepts. One thing you and I haven't done is we haven't showed the audience how to read a three technique. I think that's something we should do today. Yeah, let's do it. So this is actually the first time I saw or heard about reading an interior D-line was Chip Kelly. I believe he was in New Hampshire, and he visited us at Utah. And then uh, we just had a great relationship, and, and this is Oregon's offense. And, and as you can see, just sheer numbers, again, you know, it's, you never get tired of talking about it. Six defenders, five blockers. Right. How do you equate numbers? You read one. The normal spread one-on-one -on -one is you read the end. Right. RPO is you read the backer. Here, they're reading the internal or the three technique, okay? And there's two different reads, or actually three different reads. One is gonna be a static, which you'll see in a second. This is a dive read. And you can see from the picture here, the picture here, you're staring at the three technique, and he actually turns his shoulders. Okay. So this is a dive read right. when the quarterback's making the decision. Not a difficult read, actually an easy read. Okay, let's go to the end zone. Okay, so once again, for the viewer, this is really good stuff. You're reading the three technique. As soon as the right guard's done tying the shoe, there we go. Yeah. Right. Okay, so once again, for the viewer here, you're gonna read the three technique. Right. There's one, three different looks you can do. One's a dive read, where he's gonna turn his shoulders and tackle the back. One's static, which you'll see in a minute. And the third one, if he just rushes up the field, that doesn't happen very often. Okay, so let's take a look. This is a dive read. See how he turns his shoulders? Got he it. gets hands on the, Got the it. guard. Got it. That's not a hard read. He's gonna pull it and run the ball. This is a double option run by Adrian Martinez. Because once he turns the shows, he can't catch the quarterback. That's what that's, and the rule I can't speak for, I, I think I know, because I've studied Chip Kelly a long time. We would tell the quarterback, because you want the ball in the hands of the tailback. You know, this is not just a quarterback right. run. So if this guy can make a tackle for less than four yards, pull it. Mm -hmm. If he can make a tackle down here, hand the ball off. Live to see another day. Right. Very easy read, turns his shoulders. And one thing about reading defensive tackles as opposed to defensive ends, they're lesser athletes, most of them. And you can see, you know, not to pick on Maryland's defensive tackle, but he's having a hard time to change direction. And Adrian Martinez is obviously very good athlete. Easy to read a guy with his hand on the ground and stand right. it up. All right, coach, so that last one was a dive read. Right. What do you call this read? This is a static read. This is more complicated. This is actually what you spend most of your time working on. Okay, and you can see Adrian Martinez in my book, it's not a big play, but it's a four yard game. So let's take a look for the viewers. So the defensive tackle, okay, defensive tackle number 97. That is called a static read. Shoals and that's power. very difficult. You know, how many, you know, obviously uh, Maryland's well coached in this particular look. So this is a hard read for the quarterback. We tell him to give the ball. You know, don't, don't put yourself in harm's way. If this is blocked a little better, point of attack, which it's not, this would have been an easy five yard gain. It's a four yard gain. But, you know, you can win a lot of games averaging four yards per carry. Important thing you just said there, I think, don't put yourself in harm's way. We don't want our quarterbacks no, carrying the ball. No, no, no. And just take a look. Once again, that's really good by 97. Right. That's really good. Shoulder square. Right. And now he can really play both. That's a two-way go. Static means they can play two. However, if this back it hits it a little harder, if the offense line blocks a little bit better, yeah. even 97 would have a hard time making a play on this. But it's a gain of four, four and a half yards. We want the defense to defend the quarterback run. We don't necessarily want the quarterback to run all that much. Oh, no, no, the best. You actually scheme it up so you give handoffs. Right.